A few days ago I had an idea. Everybody has seen CT or MRI scans and I was curious how they use this technology to produce and render three-dimensional models of a person. I also wondered if it was possible to produce my own model of a person with more basic technology and less time. The first task was to collect some MRI scans which I could use for this project. Sadly, it proved much more difficult to obtain these MRI scans than expected. I went through many websites and forums and did actually find some being offered for research, yet these were expensive and I am way too cheap for that. I ended up taking a photograph of an MRI scan progression from the web and then split the image up into 50 separate head cross sections. Ideally, I would have want more images for a better end result, but I think this should be fine for the demonstration. Once I had some photos, I began work on the coding in Python. I expected it to be relatively simple for my method. The way I am trying to model this head is by stacking the images above one another with varying heights in order to give the effect of 3D with a much more simple program. I am interested to see how well this will work in modelling the human head. I did encounter an issue with Pygame where the head distorted when rotated and this was due to the images not being squared so I had to painstakingly go through all of them and change the sizes to 83 by 83 pixels. Once this was done the code worked and this is what the code produces. better than I expected with this method to say it is only from 50 CT scans. After getting it working I had more ideas of how we can test this such as adding an x-ray rendering mode to see inside the head and possibly adding colour to it. I also used facial recognition software to analyse the face and identify that yes this MRI scan was in fact from boxing legend Mike Tyson. Here are three modes I added to the system. The first is definitely my favourite of the programme, and it's the x-ray mode of drawing the head. It allows me to x-ray the head vertically at varying distances into the head. At this angle, you can actually clearly see the features of the human brain, which is pretty incredible for this program to be able to do. Also, if I go far enough, it kind of breaks, yet yeah, it's still useful as I can x-ray the head horizontally and see each MRI scan from inside the head. This mode draws 10 of each MRI scan in order to fill in the gaps between the head, yet yeah, it gives poor performance due to all the images and the end result looks very underwhelming, so this isn't necessary and does not improve the system in my opinion and this mode simply points the head to the mouse pointer, which I think is pretty fun and allows you to look at specific parts of the head in detail. The one thing I think is really missing from the head model is glorious colour. So of course I went through every single MRI scan image and added skin, bone, blood and tissue colouring into it. I then gave the colouring low opacity to keep the image details showing. It was not very accurate, so I used a large brush to get it done quicker, but the end result was still convincing. Here is the coloured head in all of its glory. Even using the x-ray mode on this looks great. Maybe a little creepy, but you can still clearly make out the components of the brain. I also wrote a program to render more of these, and it ended up being pretty trippy and interesting to look at. Overall, this idea was actually a big success, and I think the rendered heads look great. Obviously, there are much better and more complex ways to do this, such as using a wireframe or artificial intelligence to generate a better model. And you can find out more about this online. But I find it very satisfying that this can be done fairly well in such little code. Thanks for watching.